Right, so we're all off for a quick break. We're going away for one night maybe up the road. So where are we going to? Banadam. Banadam food for the vets. Okay, let's go. So Gorgi has still got a bad leg. So we just come to this vet here. So we brought Gorgi into the vet to have his bandage done. And they got a scales. How heavy is he? 22 kilograms. I just checked average husky is 20 to 27. So he's pretty much adult size already, but he's only a year old. So I think he's going to get a bit bigger. I'm really glad that we don't live in this town. It's not very nice. A lot of towns in Thailand seem to be like this. They're just sort of a strip, like one straight road with shops on either side. See, this town is just one long strip. People race through so fast. That guy's doing 60 miles an hour at least. In the town where we live called Nasan, because it's all laid out in a grid pattern, and there's markets and stuff around and street vendors. The traffic probably travels at 15 miles an hour, maybe 20 miles an hour. It all goes so slowly and it makes the atmosphere of the town so much nicer. Bang, what are you doing? Look, here he comes. Is he all right, Ken? Is he better? So, Oh yeah, under there. So how... Is it 100% or...? Yeah, yeah, two, three days, two, But you can't go in the water still? No. Uh, we've come to this place. We'll have a look around in a bit. I'm going to go and see if the dogs are right in the car. I think we're going to stay here tonight. Maybe two nights, but... Uh, I don't know, whatever. So they've got these bungalows we can stay in. They've got that outside bit there, so we can put the dogs outside. In this place, the dogs are not allowed inside. We might sneak them in later, I don't know. We'll see. There's also stray dogs around here, so I don't really like that. So the first thing that happened, as I predicted, is those stray dogs came over and tried to start a fight with Bung Bung as soon as I got him out of the car. Luckily, I was prepared for that. A few bangs of this stick on the ground, and they ran off. I always figure that, um, when you come out to places like this, there's there's too many unknowns. Like, you know, you don't know if there's stray dogs around, that kind of thing. If it was just me on my own, I can deal with whatever, it doesn't matter. But when you've got dogs to take care of, there's just too many, too many variables for me. So I find it difficult to relax and I'd just rather be at home. So it helps a lot when you've got like a nice home, like the farm for me is like the best place. You know, you show me a picture of this place and say to me, do you want to come here and have a visit? I'd look at the picture and go, well, you know, the farm is better, the farm looks better, I'd rather stay in the farm. So I'm a bit of a misery guts, I suppose. Today I'm not in a very good mood, but I'm gonna try to enjoy it, all right? So it looks like that's a load of ice water for the dogs. We've got a fan for them. It's nice and cool to sit on the tiled floor. Let's have a quick look inside the bungalow. So they've got a little lounge area, kettle, fridge. And then there's one bedroom in here with a bit of air con. And a little sink and a bathroom at the back. So it's pretty basic. I'm a pretty basic guy and this, is, this suits me down to the ground. This is quite similar in many respects to the bungalow that we're gonna build. Three, four, five. So it's roughly six meters. The one we're gonna build is gonna be about 12 meters long. So we're gonna let the dogs chill for a little while while it's still hot. And then we're going to take them out for a walk. Well, I'm going to walk up there. They've got a sign up there. Hopefully it's in English. So they've got this map here, but it's a map of the area. It's not a map of the uh, resort. So this is where we live, Ban Nasan. Got Koh Samui at the top there. And then 
So this is where we went today. We went from Ban Nassan to Ban Nadum. It's where the vets was, and then we've come up here to this place. So it's pretty quiet. Car park's empty. I think we're the only people here. I've no idea what this place is. I think it's a, a kind of a resort and they've got like some hot springs. They've got a gym thing here. They have lots of these outside gyms in Thailand. This is like the cleanest one I've ever seen. They're not normally this nice looking. I think this is brand new. So at the vets earlier, we bought a few like grooming things for the dogs. It's bun going to get in a brush. Pen gave him a haircut the other day. <laughs> it looks haircut. ridiculous. It looks like a caterpillar. It's terrible. The state of him. Bung Bung always tries to bite the brush. Well, must do something. Right then, we're off for a walk with the dogs. My walking stick. Just go and see what they've got. So, this is the place anyway. They've got these sort of hot springs water coming up from somewhere it's kind of clean oh that is hot that is really hot surprised me so they've also got a bath over there you can go and sit in the water some guy in there already there are some dogs over there I'm not sure if they're stray or not, but they're a bit aggressive. So we're going to go off a different direction. Lucky we have the stick with us. So, so this is what I was talking about earlier, you know, stay in the farm, it's relaxing. Come out and what's the point, do you know what I mean? I mean, in Thailand, there's always a chance of stray dogs around. So it's just a headache. You know, we're walking up a, a different direction. There's probably more dogs up here, so what's the point, you know? So this here is where the hot water comes out. That's the source of the spring. And they've built like a, all these channels and then a bath system, different baths, people can sit in them and enjoy the hot water. But that's an issue in Thailand. Um, there's lots of stray dogs, they're everywhere. So what I read was that um, a few years ago, the government, you know, put forward a motion or whatever to, you know, deal with the problem as in, you know, round them up, maybe euthanize them or something or, but there was a lot of opposition. A lot of people in Thailand were like, no, you can't do that. You know, live and let live kind of thing and they should leave them alone. So, so the, the issue remains. Um, I think they do have some neutering and spaying programs, but, uh, but yeah, it, it's not enough. Come on, let's go back over to the bungalow. So we've come back to the bungalow, we've brought the dogs back. So yeah, me and Penn have two dogs. We're responsible for them. We've, you know, they've been neutered. They can't create replicas of themselves. <laughs> we don't let them run around and cause trouble for other people. We take care of them. We make sure they're healthy. We make sure they've got food and water, all that stuff, right? You know, these, the thing with dogs is they're not like wild monkeys up in the mountains, right? They're domesticated animals and they need human, they need humans to survive. But let's say me and Penn were irresponsible. We didn't neuter our dogs, we didn't take care of them. We let them have loads of babies and hang around the front of our house in a big pack you know, barking at whoever walked by and harassing the neighbours and that kind of thing, that would make me and Penn, you know, really irresponsible. So my opinion about this and this issue in Thailand is basically it, the Thai government is, by allowing this situation to continue, it's just being hugely irresponsible on a national scale. Look, here's a perfect example just walked up. Another stray dog looks really ill, obviously got skin conditions. So, you know, sorry if you're squeamish and you don't want to see this sort of thing, but, but this is the issue, you know. Dogs can't take care of themselves. Um, they need human intervention and there's nothing kind about that, right? 
people can say, well, it's it's not nice to put them to sleep or whatever, but what's the alternative, you know? So let's go up here and have a look at those hot springs without the dogs. So this one, they're just refilling it into here. So this is all like fresh hot water and it is really hot. I just dipped my toe in there. I think, I think that guy needs his head examined. <laughs> Sitting in there. I tell you, it stings, it, it stings. So this is the hottest one. All oh, right. It is hot. It's like, it's like a really hot, I couldn't get in there, honestly. I wouldn't get in that, it's too hot. Yeah, so basically like the, the further you get from the source, the, the cooler the temperatures. So yeah, oh, it is, it is hot. I feel like a bit of an idiot to keep saying these hot springs are hot, but they, they are hot. weird it's pretty awkward <laughs> so they got lots of fish in here as well big ones and some tiddlers i wonder if it is hot in there i'll yeah. dip pen says it's not but i'll dip my toe in and find out but i guess the fish couldn't tolerate it unless they're a special breed Jesus Christ. <laughs> i was so close to slipping in then okay yeah that's not hot it's, it's cool it's cool It's more slippery than it looks. It's quite a nice place really, it's quite well landscaped, most of it. Look at the state of that dog. He loves the air con. Hi <laughs> down. So we've come out in the car because um, the restaurant place there is shut, we've got to get some dinner, so we're gonna go and find something to eat. So the petrol station, stray dog right in the middle of it, as usual. Everywhere you go. We've been out and bought a load of junk from 7-Eleven. So I'm gonna have an early dinner because these are hot. So I've got like a pagga prow and like a red curry. We did get a bit of fruit as well. So it's not all junk food, but yeah, pretty much. It's pretty good as well. Considering the price, it's all out. 40 baht or something like that. It's pretty good. All right, so that's my dinner sorted. Bit of an early dinner. It was better than expected. I didn't have high hopes. I thought 7-Eleven, you know, microwave food. I was expecting poor quality, but it was pretty nice actually. All right, they're both lying down, relaxing now. I think I'm going to sit here for a while with the sun on the back of my neck. Let's try and relax. It feels like it's burning. I don't know about that. It's hot. It's too hot for me. No, I've managed it. My feet are in under the water. Either I'm getting used to it or I'm burning all my nerve endings. I like it. Nice. Yeah, I have to anywhere. Pen's got all the way in. I I don't think I could do that to be honest. I honestly don't. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> oh. Okay. So little bit by little bit. Yeah, little bit of time, you should be okay. So you have to go full body, sir. So. I can't go. Like in, no, no, in. No, 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 no. That's it. That's the limit. Tell Aunt how you feel. It's very hot. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. I have it at home. So that was pretty nice sitting in that bath. It's just relaxing, you know. There's nothing else to do but sit there and breathe, really. And I'm sure some people would say 
you know, hot baths like this, especially from a natural spring, it's good for you and all that stuff. And you've got that Wim Hof guy telling everyone to take ice baths, so I don't know. Hot baths are good for you, ice baths are good for you, I don't know. Yeah, Do you like it? Yeah. Relaxing? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's go and check on the mutts. They're both sleeping, good. He's all right. This one is still passed out. So they switched on all the lights there over where the baths are and yeah it did get a bit busier as the night went on so i guess this is a place where people come to relax after work so we're going to take the dogs for one quick walk and it's going to be pretty much bedtime so we've snuck the dogs in in the bedroom with the air conditioner hopefully they'll go to sleep it's past all of our bedtimes it's like nine o'clock or something Hopefully we won't get busted. Anyway, let them explore a little bit. Hopefully they'll settle down. So, I better say, see you later. Oh, bum, bum. Out. Out.